All right, here with Ed Lamb in the film room. And Ed, uh, what a Saturday, what a win, what a uh, celebration. How was it for you? It was fantastic. Those of us in the, in the box, the coach's box, really were enjoying it together. And we got down there as soon as we could and, and enjoyed the celebration. And about uh, a half hour after the game, start looking to the next opponent. That quickly, huh? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Absolutely. Well, let's break. I know it's not Washington, this is USC, but let's discuss uh, being aggressive in the red zone with that scrum play with Gunwoloku again, trying to get that fourth and one. We practice this play against 15 to 20 guys on defense every day in practice. So wow. this is not a play where we actually tell the defense where it's going. So normally in practice, we'll have about uh, 11 guys right here at the point of attack, and we still say we can get a yard. So the team has great confidence in what we do. Um, the philosophy of this play is to just get a lot of bodies in a tight area and then push harder than, than they push. And, uh, yeah, we do let them know it's coming. This one had, um, you know, that's an arm tackle right there. we got a lead blocker. we got a blocker here. With what, the quarterback, Austin Kofensis. With the quarterback. We had probably the first breakdown on the play. Our tight end um, had a good cross-face position right there and should have kept that. He kept, comes off the backside a little bit, and then the, and then the play gets initially arm tackled about the line of scrimmage, and then Dyan fights forward for what could have been enough yardage, but it ended up you know, not being enough yardage for a first down. You're the linebackers coach, and boy, did your guys come to play in possessions two and three, especially creating two of those three turnovers. Coach Sitaka, actually, early in the week, it really, you know, he's a linebacker coach by training in his past life, and he, w he really wanted the linebackers to do a great job of keeping their eyes on the quarterback this week. Felt like that that would be a key to the, to the game. And they really responded to the occasion. You can see uh, we've got a drop eight zone uh, right here, so that's going to be a three-man rush. And the first thing that always makes these work is when that three-man rush makes the quarterback feel some presence. You can see we're busting through up the middle right there. That's, that's nice of Mahiv. And now in, in any zone, no matter how many guys you have in the zone, there's still enough field space where a defender's going to be uh, he's going to be conflicted. And in this case, the, the defender belongs underneath the one receiver and be behind or underneath the third receiver coming across right here. And so that's Isaiah Kalfusi, but he keeps his eyes on the quarterback, is able to read the quarterback, and then quickly make that decision there to go to the inside part of his uh, responsibility and is able to make a nice catch right there and take it into their territory. And the game-winning play is Dan Gonwoloku, and this is a combination from Kavik Fonu and Ch Chaz Ayu who deflect and get that ball up for uh, Gonwoloku. Yeah, it's, it's the same idea, eyes on the quarterback, so a great job right here. This is the same defense that uh, Peyton, um, and so you see Peyton, he'll slide out again, and, and then uh, Chaz is able to play pretty tight man coverage on the intended receiver. But again, talk about a conflict here. If you watch Kavika Fonua, who's there on the hash, as this play develops, Kavika's got the conflict this time, there's two receivers, and we have man coverage on them, but it's still a very short throw, and so they're, they're both open, so to speak, but Kavika does a great job of locking in on a quarterback, and he's able to make the first, I think, deflection right there. I think Chaz's contact second is what pops it up, and then Diane missed. Basically, we had the exact same play earlier in the game um, on their goal line, but uh, gets it done there, game over. Okay, this week, another big matchup. Uh, this time, Washington comes in. I guess a couple of thoughts on uh, the Huskies. Oh, really solid team that embarrassed us last year and uh, embarrassed us defensively. And so we respect every opponent. We res really respect Washington and their ability. They've got another great quarterback this year, a great group of receivers, running backs, very capable, and a massive offensive line. It'll be a real challenge for us uh, defensively to, uh, to keep us in the ballgame. Okay, thanks for the time, Ed. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Good to see you.